guys. <laughs> Thank you once again for attending my English class tonight. I really hope that I was able to inspire you a little bit with your English and make you think about how you can improve even when you're on your own. I hope that also this video helps some of you and I would really love to get some feedback from you. Feedback for you to tell me what you're thinking, okay? So to give me some feedback about the lesson and this part of the lesson as well, the video, and to let me know whether it was too easy, too difficult, uh, whether you found it interesting or whether I bored you. <laughs> so um, some of the things that I would like us to be thinking about are a couple of the things that I said in the class. So things like you're never advanced, so far advanced that you don't have to repeat basic things, okay? So I do feel like if we're repeating something that you already know, that's okay. That should actually be confirming for you your level of English and your ability to learn in this language, okay? Now, if you would ask me if I'm speaking a little bit slower on these videos than I do personally, then yes, I am. And I want you to consider that as well because over time, my videos might be faster or slower than they are currently, okay? Now, I'm speaking like this because I know most of the people that are in my class have told me they are around beginner to pre-intermediate level. So that's who I'm targeting at this stage. If you would like me to target you at a different level, then please leave me a comment down below and let me know your level and what you would like to know about. So I thought I might start this video by telling you that one of the things that I find interesting with Brazilians is that they often um, say the word thank you correctly, but then they say the words thank God incorrectly. And I'm going to explain. We obviously have two ways in English that we can say thank you um, using the word thanks, okay? Now, we say thanks with an S. So thanks for the tomato. Thanks for passing me my sunglasses. But we don't say thanks you for giving me my water. Thanks you for coming to my house. We say the correct version is thank you with no S on the end of thanks, okay? So when do we say thanks and when do we say thank? Well, if I'm just saying the one word, I must always say thanks with the S, okay? I can never just say thank. <laughs> so let's pretend that there is somebody here and I have said to them, John, can you please pass me a pen? And John says, sure. And in comes the pen, okay? And I take the pen, then my reaction has to be, thanks, John, or thanks. I can't say thank, yeah? I must include the S. But if I'm going to receive it and I want to say thank you, then I can't say the S. <laughs> I have to receive the pen and say, thanks, or thank you, John, no S on the end of thank, okay? But the reason I'm bringing this up is because a lot of Brazilians get this right, okay? There's no problem there when it's something simple like thanks and thank you. But the instant that somebody wants to say, thank God, <laughs> or thanks God, <laughs> the errors begin to happen. And the reason for this is that in Portuguese, my feeling is that most of you say, thanks to God, okay? Whereas in English, we don't give those thanks in the same way, and I wanna explain this properly. So what we actually do is we use an expression with our friends. We talk to them about a night out and we say something like, thank God it wasn't raining, okay? 
And we can't ever say, thanks God, it wasn't raining. Because if I say, thanks God, I'm actually saying, thanks God, okay? And I'm not talking to God at that stage. It would be different if I was saying a prayer, okay? So at nighttime, perhaps somebody wants to actually thank God for the life they have. Then they may go to pray in whichever way they do. And they may say something like, thanks God for always being around me and for always taking care of me and for always looking after my family, etc." Okay. And I can say, thanks God, because I'm speaking directly to him. However, if I'm speaking to my sister and I say, I had my doctor's appointment and thank God the baby is fine. I'm using an expression with my sister and there is no S on the end of the expression. So a lot of the time I'm hearing Brazilians say things like, thanks God, we made it to the bus on time, okay? But they can't because you need to take the S off the end of that and you have to say, thank God, we made it to the bus on time because I'm saying an expression. I'm not literally saying a prayer, okay? So I hope that this makes sense to you, but there that's the one way the word thank you often sounds wrong when I'm hearing it from a Brazilian. And so I wanted to bring it up and I wanted to say it to you today because it's something that can be corrected really simply. It's very easy to make a correction there. Just remember that we, when we're talking to somebody directly, we say thanks, but if we're naming them, we say thank you, John okay or thanks john however if we're talking about god we only say thank god as an expression and thanks god if we're actually praying to god okay so i hope i've been really clear with that if i haven't please ask questions please let me know that i wasn't clear um because that's how i'm going to learn as the teacher too okay so that's the first video for tonight um, and there will be one more as well for you to watch. And I hope that both of them help with your understanding of English a little bit more. <laughs> Bye.